from the heart, May 13th, a new song, Revelation 5, verse 9 and 10. And they sang a new song saying, you are worthy for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on the earth. God has reposed confidence in us by making us stewards of means and of his rich grace. And he now points us to the poor and suffering and oppressed, to souls bound in chains of superstition and error, and assures us that if we do good to these, he will accept the deed as though done to himself. And as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, he declares, you have done it unto me. The poor are not excluded from the privilege of giving. They, as well as the wealthy, may act a part in this work. The lesson that Christ gave in regard to the widow's two mites show us that the smallest willing offerings of the poor, if given from a heart of love, are as acceptable as the largest donations of the rich. All wise stewards of the means entrusted to them will, will enter into the joy of their Lord. What is this joy? Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. There will be a blessed commendation, a holy benediction on the faithful winners of souls. They will join the rejoicing ones in heaven who shout the harvest home. How great will be the joy when the redeemed of the Lord shall all meet gathered into the mansions prepared for them. Oh, what rejoicing for all who have been impartial, unselfish laborers together with God in carrying forward his work in the earth. What satisfaction will every reaper have when the clear musical voice of Jesus shall be heard saying, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. With glad, rejoicing hearts, those who have been co-laborers with God see of the travail of their soul for perishing, dying sinners and are satisfied. The self-denial they have practiced in order to support the work is remembered no more. As they look upon the souls they sought to win to Jesus and see them saved, eternally saved monuments of God's mercy and of a Redeemer's love, there ring through the arches of heaven shouts of praise and thanksgiving. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.